In this lecture, I am going to discuss about model factories in Laravel. With factory, we can generate dummy record to our database tables in Laravel. Laravel by default provides us users factory, which is under database factories folder. And inside this users factory, we have this definition method, where it is returning an array, and it is generating fake data with the help of PHP Fecal library. Now I am going to tell you how we can generate dummy record with the help of factory, and I am going to generate the record with the help of factory from the terminal. I open this terminal from our project root. Now I will run php artisan tinker to get the php CLI and then I will generate dummy users record to our users table with the help of user factory. So I will call our users model and then factory method and we can call this factory method to our users table because if I open our user model it is using this hash factory trade that's why we can call this factory method to our user model and if we want to generate the record we need to call create method this will create one record to our user table if I check our user table now we have this new record now if we want to generate multiple record with the help of factory then we need to call another method called count and inside this count method we need to provide the number if you want to generate 5 record then you can provide 5 inside this count method this will generate 5 new record inside your users table if I refresh our users table here we have this newly generated users record now I am going to tell you how we can create new factory we can create the factory with the help of php artisan make factory command or we can create the factory during model creation in the previous lecture I created migrations file for our post table but I did not create post model now I will create post model and I will tell you how we can create the factory along with model creation so from our project root I will run php addition make model and the model name will be post and if you want to generate the factory along with model creation you can provide minus a flag this will create the factory file along with your model creation but I am not going to create the factory along with post model creation I will create the post factory separately so let's create our post model and if I check our app models folder here we have our post model and if I check our database inside our post table we have this title description feature status total likes created at updated at user id column so let's add these columns as fillable property. And now I will create our post factory with the help of php artisan make factory and then our factory name. Factory name will be post factory. So factory created successfully. If I open our post factory, we can define the model for which model we are using this factory if I check laravel documentation let's search factory and then let's click on this defining model factories and we can define the model inside our factory with this protected property called model and this factory will be for the post model as I am providing post model here and let's import our post model inside this file now from this return array I'm going to provide the attribute and its value so I'm going to create the title with the help of php fecal library php fecal library will be available inside this file that's why we can call this fecal and we can create the title with the help of title method and we can provide the string character length here because if I check our post table structure the character length for this title field is 200 so we need to provide title with 200 character that's why we are generating title with 200 character and then let's create description with the help of PHP records paragraph method and 
and then let's provide picture value want to provide true or false for picture for now let's pass true and then let's add status and this will be active or inactive let's provide active and then let's pass total likes let's provide zero for now and then for the user id we cannot provide hard coded data we need to provide dynamic data which will be the id from our user's table record right that means user's id so what we can do here we can simply call our user factory and then we can create the record and because we are using user model here so let's import the user model here Now I'm going to generate post record with the help of post factory. So from our project code, let's run PHP addition tinker. And then I'm going to generate post record with the help of post factory. Let's call factory method. And then let's call create method to generate the record. So this will create one record to our post table if i refresh our post table you see here we have new record now if we want to generate multiple record then again we can call the count method here suppose i'm going to generate two record and i'm going to modify the status of each post then how we'll do this we can provide array inside this create method and we can modify the value suppose i want to modify the status for each post then i can modify the status value here this will be inactive i am passing status as inactive for this newly creating post hit enter so this will create two new records inside our post table with status inactive so this is how we can modify the value now i'm going to talk about factory relationship if i check laravel factory documentation here we have this factory relationship each post will belongs to an user so let's uh, find the belongs to relationship here is the belongs to relationship right so before talking about belongs to relationship let's create belongs to relationship inside our post model so each post will belongs to an user so let's create a method called user and then from this user method let's return belongs to relationship return belongs to user so let's provide our user class here okay and each user can have multiple posts so let's also create has been relationship inside our user model this will be post and relationship name will be has many and this will be our post model now what i can do i can comment out this line here and i can pass the user directly during creating the record with the help of factory so let's check the documentation yeah we can call for method and we can provide the data here with the relationship factory data so suppose we want to create new post then we can call this factory and then count if you want to generate multiple record suppose i am creating only one record and I'm creating this record for a new user so I'm passing for here and then what I can do I can call our user factory here let's call factory method and then if I 
create this let's see how it is working call to undefined method app models post and then user okay actually this is taking the catch a value so let's enter control c and let's run php addition tinker again and let's run this command you see it is generating a new record to our post table and if i check our post table so we have this new record inside our post table so instead of uh, calling this for method and passing the relationship factory we can call the relationship name along with for so i am uh, i am checking the documentation what is the method name yeah it is called magic method so instead of passing the factory name directly inside this for method we can also call for and then our relationship name suppose i want to create another post and inside our post model we have the relationship called user i think yeah user so we can create the new post and we can call for user method so this will create a new post with a new user hit enter so it will create a new post with new user and you can also provide the or you can also provide or modify the user name here suppose i want the user name i coding then i can provide the user name here hit enter this will create a new post and with a new user of name i coding so if i check our post table here we have this new post and if i check our user table here we have this new user with name i coding and now let's discuss about has been relationship so this is how we generated data with billions to relationship with model factory now let's discuss about has been relationship so now i'm going to call our user factory app slash models slash user and inside our user model we have has been relationship so each user can have multiple posts so what we can do we can simply call has and then our method name so what is the method name i think method name is post and then we can call create method and how many records we want to generate for the post we can define it inside this has post method i think let's check the documentation so let's find the has been relationship yeah okay instead of this magic method yeah we can provide the number inside this has post method right so suppose i want to generate five post for this newly user newly created user then i can provide a number how many uh, i mean how many posts i want to generate for this user i can provide the number inside this has post method this is a magic method or you can provide the uh, i mean you can provide the factory like this way also inside your has method so let's hit enter so this will generate five new records for newly created user if i check our user table here we have this new user of id 14 and if i open our post table there should be five new post with user id 14 you see so that's it that is how we work with model factories in laravel so if you like the video you can subscribe my channel for latest videos in the next lecture i'm going to discuss about cedar in laravel so stay connected